Welcome to the University of Utah Engineering Labs. We want you to have an enjoyable learning experience during your time in the lab. But more importantly, we want you to be safe. This video outlines some basic rules and guidelines to help keep you and those around you safe during your time in the lab. Let's talk about being prepared for the day's lab work. Have an understanding of the experiment and the hazards that may be present with your experiment before you come to lab. Safety data sheets can help you understand the hazards that may be present with the chemicals you're using. If you don't know where the safety data sheets are, ask your TA and they'll show you. Bring only what you need for the experiment into lab. Keep your backpack in a designated area. Know the location of the safety equipment, such as safety shower, the eye wash, spill kit, and first aid kit, and make sure you know how to use them. If you don't know the location, make sure you find out. Remember, if you don't know something, don't hesitate to ask. There's no such thing as stupid questions. Go to your TA or instructor with any questions, because we love you. Now let's talk about PPE and work practices. First, the basic protective equipment when working in the lab is a lab coat, gloves, long pants, closed-toed shoes, and of course, glasses. Basic safety glasses when working in general areas, but be sure to wear safety goggles when working with liquids. Some situations may require more personal protective equipment, such as a flame-resistant lab coat or laser goggles. Please consult your standard operating procedures or your lab supervisor if you have any questions. Of course, you also want to have your hair pulled back, have no loose clothing, lanyards, or jewelry. No cell phones, earbuds, or electronic devices are allowed in the workplace because they can distract you from your work. Find a secure location to store them while you work. There is absolutely no food or drink allowed in the lab. Really? Remember to remove your gloves before you touch anything outside your lab area, including doorknobs, elevator buttons, etc. To remove your gloves properly, take your right hand and grab your left palm, making sure you're not touching the outside of the glove. Pull it off and use your clean finger to put underneath the right glove, making sure never to touch the outside. At the end of every lab session, make sure you wash your hands before you leave. Whenever possible, work in the buddy system. Try not to be alone in the lab. And if you must be in the lab alone, make sure someone knows where you are and checks on you periodically. Inspect all lab equipment before use. If it is damaged, report it to your lab supervisor and do not use it. Also, make sure you follow all written procedures. Keep compressed gas cylinders strapped and secured at all times, even the empty ones. And remember to ensure that all chemical containers are properly labeled. You want to take caution when handling hazardous materials. Each category of hazardous materials has specific guidelines, such as the chemical hygiene plan or the biosafety manual. Make sure you learn and follow the specific guidelines for the lab that you are working in. To dispose of contaminated sharps, such as syringes, scalpels, bipeds, and razor blades, must be disposed of properly in a biohazard sharps container. Non-contaminated sharps, such as broken glassware, should be disposed of in a broken glass container. Remember to label all your containers before using them. Label the container before you fill it with material. Remember, keep your container lid secure unless you are using it. Remember to store chemicals according to the hazard class and not alphabetically. Also, do not store incompatible materials together. Make sure to properly label all unwanted materials, formerly known as waste, containers. Due to changes in EPA regulations, waste containers should not be labeled with the word waste. 
They should instead be labeled with the words unwanted materials. Include a list of the contents on the label as well. Do not mix incompatible materials in the same unwanted materials container. When transporting chemicals from one lab to the other, be sure to use another container, also known as a secondary containment. Let's talk about some emergency procedures. In the event of a fire or other emergency, please evacuate the lab. If it is safe to do so, shut down all experiment processes, grab personal belongings, and proceed to the nearest exit. Get out! As you exit, if it already hasn't been done, pull the fire alarm system. Proceed to the assigned evacuation assembly area and check in. If the fire is small and if you've been properly trained, by all means, use a fire extinguisher. After using one extinguisher and the fire is not out, proceed to the exit and as you do, pull the fire alarm system. If you are hurt, please seek immediate medical attention and contact your lab supervisor as quickly as possible. If you are on fire, use the emergency shower. If it's too far away, remember, stop, drop, and roll. If you get chemicals spilled on you, flush the exposed area for a minimum of 15 minutes. Use the emergency shower or eye wash and remember to remove all contaminated clothing. Seek medical attention and have someone notify the lab supervisor. All labs have a spill kit. In the case of a chemical spill, please notify your lab supervisor and clean up the spill. If you are experiencing symptoms that are out of the ordinary, whether that includes watering eyes, nausea, or dizziness, Stop what you are doing right away and contact your lab supervisor.